Hi again! What do we got here? We have Vipar Spectra's newest light. We got something new to check out, guys. All new lights from Vipar Spectra. We, we've been loving their lights for ever since we started the channel. So we got something new, new here. Let's take a look. Ooh. Hi again, fam. If you want a chance to win a brand new Vipar Spectra XS 1500 Pro, stay tuned for details on how to enter in this video to win one of these brand new lights from Vipar Spectra. What? Ooh. Look at these babies. Ooh. And I hear these ones are special in the way that you can connect them. Yeah, looks like they got some new features on them. Let's get these things unpacked, check them out, mm -hmm. and see what they got going on with these things. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I love new things. Right? Yeah, these look pretty sweet. We're pretty excited to check out these new lights from them. Um, and we're going to be definitely putting these things to work in the tents and see how they run, get some power measurements. Uh, and check out some of the new features. Look at this little baby. Yeah, it looks pretty Ooh. dope. I'd say this would be comparable to their XS uh, 1500 that they already have, or the 1500. Um, but they just a new design here. Looks like they definitely have added some things. Um, I want to like turn around and see how she glows. Right? Looks like they've added some kind of uh, like kind of lens system over the LEDs, and then the center has a little something different. So. Definitely cool to see them coming out with new products and new styles of lighting. So Yeah, because you can't touch them this time. Yeah, everything's covered completely. Yes, so I love that. Let's pretty see. pretty interesting uh, design change. So we'll see how they perform and what what's up with them. I'm excited to do this. So these are going to be going up in our uh, Patreon tent. This is a two by three. So we're going to be replacing the old XS2000 in there. And then we're going to run these new ones, two of them side by side length. So we're going to get them in there, see what kind of par we're getting at different heights. So the XS2000 uh, has been great. The whole XS series are 4,000. Yeah. Um, and this 2000, we've, we've actually so ran you, many plants through. This so. is like, um, this is their last light and this is their newest light. Right, well, this one is a 2000, so it's a bigger series. This would be comparable to their already XS uh, 1500. So, you know, the XS 2000 is a bigger light with a probably more powerful driver, but we'll see how the new uh, 1500 Pro compares to the to that. And we'll be running them in a dual setup, so it's actually probably gonna output more than the XS 2000 does just alone. Let's get these babies out of the box, yeah, take a look at them, that. and check out some of the features. So these new lights look dope. Yeah, these things look really cool. I'm excited to see, A, how bright they are, because, you know, brightness matters. <laughs> right. And, um, and to see how, th oh, how they Ooh. link up. Yeah, they look pretty dope. So the new lights, guys, looks like they did add like a little bubble mesh lens system over the LEDs, but they are completely covered. The center has what appears to be like a glass covering uh, over those center LEDs and same kind of construction and build quality from the XS4000, all aluminum housing. It also has the little uh, heat sink aluminum back, although the fins don't look quite as big. Looks like they're using a new one from Sosin. New drivers, 150 watts a piece. They also have the good old dimming knob on the back here. Uh, although I did notice that the dimming knob um, is a fixed position now, 5, 25, 50, 75, and 100%. Also features the control in and out so you can daisy chain the lights. And it has a local and remote switch on the other side so you can just daisy chain these lights to one another um, without a controller. Uh, but I did see in the manual it supports the zero to 10 volt dimming. They look pretty sweet. What do you think, man? I'm, I'm ready to get these babies You're in here. Ready to get these things going. I have a baby that wants wants the juice. We got something in the Patreon tent that's gonna be loving these. But other than that, in the box, guys, you do have the RJ11 cord, uh, some hanging brackets, your manual, and two sets of ratchet straps to hang these babies up. So we're getting them hung up in the Patreon tent side by side, uh, and then take a look at them. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, put those shades on. It's bright in here. Woo! Need some shades up in there. Ooh. This is just one of them. 
Yeah, these babies are bright, guys. And um, it's more than enough to... <sighs> blind? <laughs> it's more than <laughs> sure. enough to blind you. <laughs> Um, hence why I have the shades. Right. But I'm actually very impressed. It's, it seems warmer than some of the lights that I've seen from, yeah. from them. So, um. The spectrum definitely seems to be shifted to the warmer side, guys. Light Bar Spectre definitely switched up the spectrum they're using with these new XS 1500 Pros. On the left is the 1500 Pro is much warmer than the middle, which is the Vipar Spectre KS5000. And on the right is our AC Infinity S44, which would be the most blue shifted. You can definitely tell the color temperature difference when you see them all side by side like this, with the new XS 1500 Pros being the warmest out of all the lights. And to give you guys a little data to back that, I used our new Pulse Pro to measure the PPFD and the Pulse also gives you the spectral curve response from the light output. So from 17 inches below each light at 100%, I took a measurement and you can see the spectral curve clearly shows that the XS 1500 Pro is a much warmer spectrum light with more par power in the red spectrum. So it looks like they have changed up their spectrum a little, made it a little warmer. Um, and I've always seemed to think that it, uh, the plants seem to like that, especially in flower when it's a little bit warmer. So uh, we'll definitely take a look at the spectrum on these and see if we notice any major changes. But overall, these are looking pretty awesome. Um, I do like the dual light setup and you can link them so they can control another um, or run them independently. So this is kind of be great for if you have a two by four, uh, it actually shows amazing par coverage with two of these in a two by four with about nine inches of space between them. Um, you can expect basically a thousand par full coverage over the whole two by four. So two smaller lights um, give you that flexibility because you can't yeah. offset them and get that get that maximum par out of two lights. So we're gonna be running in a two by three, but we think it's gonna be great. This is our Patreon tent. So this is a tent we let our Patreons decide what we're growing in and uh, they've voted on a photo. It's Mr. Grow It. Chill out OG. Yeah, Mr. Grow it. We've been pumped to get this one going. All right, and then oh, that's this gonna be fun. One. That's for the Patreon tent. Yeah. Guys, in a couple First days. First photo even too. In a couple days, we're gonna be putting these babies in some dirt. Hopefully we got some little tap roots. Maybe we can jump on another live and show you guys what the filming comes. Definitely, if you're a Patreon, check that grow out. It's coming up and we're gonna be giving these lights a new run in there and it's gonna be dope. So these are looking pretty sweet. If you guys are interested, check them out. The link will be in the description below. Use our code to save a couple dollars, but uh. Ooh, I can't yeah. wait to see what these babies do. These are looking great. Like, we're gonna try and hook them up on the controller 69 and see how they remote control and let you know, let you guys know if that works. Um, but yeah, so far impressed. These new lights look dope. The lenses look pretty cool. And uh, I think they're gonna be great performers. Ooh, so we can check out some of this uh, functionality, guys. So we have them linked. Um, one Vipar is set to it has going out in the output and that goes to the other one's input. And then the switch on this one, you switch that one to remote and then the main controlling one is local. So you can link up to 20 of these lights in a series and control them from one light. If you grab that dimmer knob, yep, and adjust it, you'll see it adjusts both lights brightness. So it will chain them together and you can chain as many, up to 20 of these just off each other um, and can control it from one main light. One thing, there is no off position on this dimmer, so the lowest setting it will go to is five. You still need to run a timer on these in order to actually get it to turn off for your night cycle. So you will have to run a timer, um, but you can daisy chain um, and get them to all turn up or down based on whatever your thing, or you can run them independently or link groups of them together, um, especially if you have like a five by five cool. in a few of these, you could have, you know, kind of zone set up with different lighting for different plants and autos and stuff, some in flower, some in veg, seedling. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. It gives you that ability to kind of customize your, your setup in your space. So we'll go ahead and try and hook it up to the AC Infinity controller and uh, see if that works. So we got it hooked up to the controller 69. These are the type A adapter. It's PWM zero to 10 volts. Um, so it is hooked up. So go ahead and why don't you hit that up arrow on there, babe. And it should um, make them both brighter. So it's definitely controlling both of them. That's dope. Uh, go ahead and bring it all the way down. So one issue we did notice, guys, um, is although it does hook up here and control, when you set this to zero, the lights do not turn off all the way. They just go to the lowest state, the 5%. So that means 
even though you can control these lights, the dimness, through the Controller 69 with a Type A adapter, this does not turn off the lights all the way. Even if you set it to the zero output on the off, the lights stay on. So that means you would still have to control your lights through a separate timer. You couldn't rely on the AC Infinity 69 to do your control for the lights. Um, and we don't have any other kind of controllers to test to see if that would work. You could use something like the AC Infinity control plug, but the only problem is you'd have to then control each separate light with its own plug uh, to turn them both on and off. Although you might be able to get away with a power strip on there because these lights uh, aren't gonna draw over the 1800 watt or 15 amp power limit of the on and off plug. Um, but it's just something to think about. Um, kind of surprised that it doesn't turn off at the zero state like our KS5000 does. So something to think about, but overall these lights look great. Uh, if you guys are interested, we're gonna be running these for sure. So obviously it's gonna take a while to grow some plants through them and, and get our evaluation of how those go. Uh, but we will check out some of the par readings here and see what kind of numbers these things are putting out. If you want a chance to win your own XS 1500 Pro, all you have to do is comment below XS 1500 Pro in the comments and you'll be entered to win. We'll be doing the drawing for this live Sunday, March 19 on our Sunday lives. We'll announce the winner and pick one from the comments so you have a chance to win one of these new lights and check it out for yourself. Good luck, fam. So up close, guys, 4,000 par. So as we move down here, you can see about six inches. We're at about 2,000 par at 100%. Uh, so just go ahead and keep lowering that, babe. And you guys can kind of see as we go down, definitely getting the numbers. Even at 12 inches, we're over 1,300 par. 16 inches, 1,200, 18, 1,000, still over 1,000. So definitely, definitely these things are putting out the light, guys. Super impressed with that. So these are definitely going to hit you with more than enough power that you would need for flowering. So unless you're growing at a super high level, um, yeah, even at, even at 31 inches, we're still at 700, almost 800 par. So these things are kicking out some, some serious power here. So super impressed by these little lights um, from Vipar. So definitely the power you need to flower and be able to do the reg, even at, geez, almost the, at the top of the tent at 100%, we're easily there enough to get them up into veg um, before you'd even have to lower them. So you can definitely run them high or low and they're, you know, they're gonna get you the power that you need at pretty much any height, it looks like. Uh, but that's impressive. I don't know if that's because of the lens design or yeah. maybe some of the different chips that are in there, but it's definitely, uh, definitely impressive. Let's go to 30 inches right here. Almost 800. Yeah, 30, 30 inches from the canopy. And that's sitting in between the two. So uh, they do recommend if you got it in like two of these in a two by four, you space them about nine inches apart, you're gonna get uh, complete coverage all the way from one side to the other um, in a two by four with just two lights, yeah. you know, full power coverage. So that's, pr I, I, that's pretty impressive. It feels like you don't even really have to touch them the whole grow. Yeah, <laughs> for real. They look very, very powerful. So I'm wondering if they're going to come out with a bigger series, like a, like a XS 4000 pro, um, definitely be interested to see that, but we're going to, we're going to keep checking these out and we're going to do some runs with them guys and give you our thoughts afterwards too. Thanks so much for watching fam. Definitely stay tuned, smash that like and hit the subscribe and bell for notifications. If you want to see how this light performs as we start to grow some plants through it and definitely check out our Patreon. If you want some behind the scenes content, weekly live streams, and so much more, it's a huge help to help support the channel because most of our content is restricted due to plants. So we really appreciate you guys using our discount codes and helping out. You can also check out more that's going on through Instagram. Follow us at hi again, and we'll see you guys in the next one.